Hey guys, uh, hope 2015 was a great year for you. Um, it sure was a pretty good year in movies, I thought. Um, so here are my top five favorite films of 2015. Here we're basing it on movies that were released in Australia in the year 2015. The number five spot was, goes to Ex Machina. Ex Machina was a brilliant movie um, regarding you know the nature of AI and consciousness. It was a huge game of cat and mouse, but it kept you guessing as to who the cat was and who the mouse was, who was playing who the whole time all the way till the end. Um, and it was really good um, in in being able to capture your attention in that way. So I really loved this movie. It was beautifully shot, beautifully cast as well. Um, and it asked some really strong questions, I guess, about consciousness and uh, trust and relationships, uh, which I really liked. The number four spot goes to The Martian. Uh, I had very low expectations for this movie, um, but really it was amazing. Um, it was a really good survivor story and we've seen survivor stories before, uh, but it, not done with this approach. Um, it approached it from a problem solving angle rather than from a um, dramatic angle, which I really loved. And despite it focusing on you know the problem solving aspect um, and using intelligence to kind of survive, I suppose, um, it still managed to reach um, the emotional high notes of a dramatic story, um, which was really impressive. So I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, the number three spot goes to The Imitation Game. This was a biopic on the life of Alan Turing. Um, Alan Turing uh, credited as the father of computers, really. Um, and what was amazing about this movie was I, did, I just didn't realize how awesome Alan Turing was. And I read the whole Wikipedia page on Alan Turing afterwards and wow, he did even so much more than the movie did. And so, I, as someone who loved computers, I thought it was a great way to see that, wow, not only was the origin story of computers, um, you know, amazing, but it actually, the orig the first computer saved billions and, well, potentially millions and millions of lives thereafter. So, really cool movie. The uh, second spot goes to the movie with, I guess, probably the most pressure riding on it this year or ever, um, or ever will be and that's Star Wars Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. Uh, this movie was awesome. I really, really enjoyed it. I had a really great time the whole way through from start to finish. And um, and despite the pressure, it really pulled it off. And it pulled it off by playing safe. I think all of us can see the similarities between Episode Seven and Episode Four: A New Hope in terms of the story plot lines. Uh, but, you know, I didn't mind that. The visual effects were stunning. The the plot was, you know, kind of moved on really nicely, a bit too fast, but still moved on really nicely. The new cast were really strong, um, uh, especially Boyega as Finn and Ridley as Rey. They were really enjoyable to watch. Um, and the lightsaber battles were just awesome. You know, anytime Finn turned on that lightsaber, I just got G'd, man. That was just... Mm. Okay, and so that begs the question as to what is the number one spot? Well, I think the number one spot has to go to Inside Out for me. The good movies entertain. The great movies entertain and inspire, um, which is what, I guess, The Imitation Game did. But the best movies do all those things and at the same time educate. Um, it, tells, it told you something you didn't know um, and it told you a message um, that, that is just useful. You know, it, it helps, it actually helps you in living. I think that's what the best movies do. And, and Inside Out did that. Um, it was an exploration into emotions, um, into our emotions, and the message that it sent was a brilliant one. And that is all emotions serve a purpose and all emotions are meaningful. I think we have this topsy-turvy world sometimes where we view happiness as the only valid emotion. Happiness is the only thing you should be feeling most of the time, otherwise there's something wrong with you. Um, and that is just rubbish. That's rubbish because that's impossible. Um, by definition, we're, we're setting ourselves up to fail if we think happiness is normal. Um, instead, what this movie does is it tells you, you know what, it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to feel disgusted. It's okay to be happy. Like It's just okay to feel. Um, and whatever it is you're feeling, there's a reason for that. Um, and we shouldn't shy away from it, suppress it, push it away. Instead, we should say, okay, what is this trying to say? What am I feeling? And what is it, how does it actually impact my life in this point in time? Um, and that is an incredible message. And Inside Out did this all the while keeping me entertained, keeping me engaged in the story, invested in the characters, and, and making me laugh along the way as well. So the number one spot has to go to Pixar's Inside Out. All right, guys, that's my top five. Cool, enjoy. Hoping 2016 is even better.